quick tutorial how to pack your bike for airline travel. We'll do another video. This time the bike's in the box. This is a cardboard box. I don't use those $700 fancy boxes you get from whatever. I just use a cardboard box. This is what your bike came in. Even if you're riding a $15,000 bike, it came in a cardboard box. That's what I travel in. Get this mini bike shop bin, ask a bike shop, whatever. And that's good because you can recycle afterwards and then when you get to your destination, you don't have to lug around a bike bag or a bike box. You just chuck it on the side of the footpath and the recycling guys come and pick it up. So with tools for the job, what I like to use is a little pair of plastic gloves you get from any supermarket. And I reuse these over and over and over. Sometimes I double them up. And these weigh maybe five grams, but they compact up into a little small bowl. You can stash them somewhere. It saves your hands getting excessively greasy. You don't need them. This is only something I've recently used, but it can be handy. And what I use is a little multi-tool uh, multi here. Or I use a torque wrench. This is a little bag I carry it in. This is a Ritchie torque wrench, not sponsored by Ritchie. But a torque wrench means, for those who don't know, you can't do the bolt up too tight. If you do using a lot of lightweight carbon bits or titanium bolts, it's easy to snap the bolt from doing it too tight. So the torque wrench is generally around at five uh, newton meters. So you, when you turn it, it just, it just won't let you go past that point. So it's a great thing if you're using lightweight parts, comes with different fittings, and you just pull them out, put them back in, and swap them over. So this is a good thing, it's about 20, 25, 30 dollars. Gonna last you a long time, especially if you're using it for your thing. So we've got the bike in the box, let's rip it out. So you can see here, it's just packs, this is my Cannondale. Just come back from Thailand. And we're just gonna rip it out. So you can see how I've got it packed, right? secret there. I've got the back wheel still in the bike. This is the lazy way to do it. The easy way to do it even. But I've still got my derailleur attached to it. And I've got some tape I used. I found this on the side of the road. Recycle that. And all I'm using to keep the frame protected, you don't need to, but it's a bit of a benefit, is just some of this foam stuff that your bike was also packed in. And you get this mini bike shop. And I'll put bubble wrap, I normally wedge it around a derailleur. If you really want to get advanced, you can take the derailleur off, and just let it hang, and wrap it in bubble wrap, and wrap the hanger up. But I was a bit lazy with this one, didn't do it. Of all the bike travel in the world I've done, for the last, since 2001 I've been traveling with my bike. The only damage I've ever had was, I snapped the rear derailleur hanger, when I came out from Costa Rica. And that was it. <laughs> so it's, all you need to do is, just, just a bit of this foam stuff and it's good to go. Make sure that you do up any bolts, all right? You do up any bolts, because if you let the bolt come loose and it rattles, it's gonna fall out of the box and you lose it. So you get to destination, like, oh, I can't put my, my bolts are all lost, so that's not good. So if you loosen it, tighten it back up. Got the front wheel in here. What else we got in here? And the seat post, this is a good tip. We can cut that one a bit short, but see that liquid paper pen there? That white out mark? So that means when I put my seat back in the frame, I can put it to that where that reference point is. And you also see, you can see that the white out pen mark on the seat angle as well. And the, see that? Get it closer, there you go. So there's white point there, white point there, and a white point there to mark the angle of it. And even on the other side as well, for the OCD people. Mark it, mark it. And that way, if anything slips when you put your bike back together, you've always got a reference point. So that's a big tip. And we're going to put the bike together and it's going to show you how simple and easy it is. If you don't have a pen or don't have a knife, what you can do if you want to cut tape, you just stretch it and poke it. Like that. Stretch and poke. Easy done. Just don't puncture your down tube. And I can reuse this again next time. And this cardboard box, I can fold this up and put it under the bed for the next time I'm going shipping. So it's real easy. Cardboard box for the win. Let's build this bike up. And there we have it, just 
put my skewer on, put my pedals on, I'm ready to ride anywhere. Now here's a quick tip, when you're doing up your stem bolts, the two bolts here, do them up till you can feel them engaging and then just do half turns each one. And that way the gap closes more evenly. All right, that's what you want to do. You don't want to like wind them all the way one way and then wind them all the way and top one in, all right? Half, you, you wind them up till you, they get snug, till you can feel them closing up, and then you do half turns. One, two, one, two, one, two, and that's how you do it. And that way it gives an even clamping force. You've got two things, you want to do them up at the same time. And there you go, that's how easy it is, man. And another thing, people go, oh, I'm a girl, oh, I can't do this. You've got to remember that 99% of these bikes, these are made by women. These, these are assembled by women in the factories in the US or in Asia. All right, all the tires and spokes and the, the, the cables and everything is tuned by women. Why is that? Because in a factory level, women have better dexterity of their fingers. They know how to use their fingers better. So you can do it. You can build bikes. Doesn't matter what gender you are, you can do it. It's very simple. Plenty more videos on YouTube, but that's how you do it. It's very easy. How easy is that? It's fucking easy. You want a little torque wrench and a bit of experience, you do it. Easy. Post your questions, comments down below. Finish this off. See you soon.